Hey guys, what's up? I have never done one of these videos before. Favorites videos? I don't know. They're kind of interesting to watch though to see what people like and go through. But most of the stuff I like is travel stuff. So I guess I'll just talk about that. There's some really cool things out there. And in this video, I'm gonna include a study set, a, stu a study tip section at the end of this part, at the end of the favorites, the favorites part, because I was originally supposed to make a video of my friend Brittany, um, but she is really busy right now, so we're in school. It happens. You guys should go follow her on Tumblr. I believe it's brittanystudies.tumblr.com. Hold on, I can check that. brittany-studies.tumblr.com. The link will be down below. She has a very inspiring Tumblr study blog. I just got introduced to. I didn't know it was a thing. I'm just like, this could be my desk. This could be how I work and get things done. I like it. It makes you want to study based on how awesome these pictures are. Anyway, my first favorite thing this month is my travel towel. This is my favorite color, so it's quite cool. Um, and it dries really fast. Honestly, give it a couple hours and it's just like dry and it's great. It's awesome because it's compact and light. And did I mention it was my favorite color? Yeah, I did. Normally just like throw that in my backpack if I'm going to um, lab because I do lab by the beach so it can get kind of wet. Or I throw it in my gym bag if I'm gonna go swim. So it's a really good towel. What do you mean? My second favorite thing, or things, Kiki K stuff. So cute and it makes you wanna put your life together. So. This is my planner. So colorful inside. It's awesome. Oh, that was this week. And that, has that happened yet? No. And this is a travel journal. You fill in where you want to go, where you want to eat. And there's like empty pages where you can draw to. And I draw, I write. I mean, I write stories, I write songs, and I write journal entries. So this is perfect. And then this is just a normal diary. But the nice thing about this is that it has different types of paper. So you have lined paper and you also have like plain, plain paper <laughs> and even grid paper. And then last but not least is this A Sentence A Day book that I got from Kiki K. Basically what you do with this book, you fill out a sentence a day on it and you do this for three years. I think it'll be really fun to look back and see how my thoughts on one topic say like, I'm not gonna say that one. Like May 29th says what's complicated. I think it'd be really interesting to see the progression of three years what I found complicated from one year to the next. You know, just to see if anything changes. So that's that, what else? <laughs> Other favorite are these is a Stabilo pen. I have a set of these. It's a pack of them, they just roll up really easily. And it rolls up. Of course, you cannot go through school without cute post-it notes. I'm talking these and these. I love the whole, I love the whole Disney Sum Sum series. I think the character design is so cute. So when I saw these, I was like, absolutely send me up, I'm getting them. These ones, I just like how they're different shapes for different events. This one I'll use for if I'm going on a trip, like what I need, any last minute things I need to pack, or if I want to upload st stuff onto like Insta or Snap, or if I get inspired by something that I see on YouTube, I'll put this right next to it. This is great for when I need to like send letters off to my friends. I actually, yeah, I actually do that. I still handwrite letters. It's just like easier sometimes just to tell every someone what's been going on all in one huge chunk than in like messages. So yeah, I love these. So what happens when you combine this, this, and this? My planner for this week. Yes, it's half full, but it is gonna fill up. Trust me. As I said, I use the different post-it notes for different things. I use the some some Disney some some ones for like video scheduling, like what videos I want to upload what week, and when I'm going to do what stage of production of those videos. 
yeah, it's a good system. I love it. It works for me. School, I'm also, I can't speak. School, I'm also into cute folders. I use a lot. I especially love ones with dividers inside because I can put different sorts of notes in them, which I will talk about later. I'm also really into journals. I write all sorts of things, music, stories, and I get really creative in them. If you guys are traveling, invest in a down jacket. This is mine. And it's by Patagonia, and it's also my favorite color. Down jackets like these are great. It's so light, you can squish it, and it's really windproof. It's incredibly windproof and warm. Looks like a big blue marshmallow. I am no beauty guru, you guys know that. But I do have to say, my last favorite is this stuff. This is Palm Olive's body palm olives body butter coconut scrub and it's an exfoliating body wash wash and this is the best thing ever in the sense that it cleans you and moisturizes you and you feel like you don't have to put on body lotion when you walk out of the shower that's really important when you're traveling it's really important to have all these combination products because then that reduces how much you pack and that is very important it also makes you smell like coconut which being from a travel book place and eating a lot of coconut is I love that stuff Oh, I have another favorite. I can't show it to you, but Lonely Planet travel books, ebooks are the best, especially when they have like deals where you can get two, uh, three for two. Sorry, I can't talk. I just got, I just got out of lab, and it's just like, oh. best of 2015 travel book was about a dollar for a while. It may still be. I'm not sure. You have to check the site. But when they have their deals, oh my god, I jump on that. Like definitely jump on Lonely Planet deals. I really like how you can just buy certain chapters of travel books from them because it makes it really easy to update. There are a couple news stories I've been liking this month too. Um, definitely been kept keeping up with the US presidential election as much as I can. There was a new species of monkey discovered in Peru. As a biology major, that made me very excited. There's also on Flipboard, there was a article linked to a sort of like a book it was like a small it was like a novel but this article was about phone use smartphone usage etiquette and i was just like finally i i mean i bet there have have been other books and articles written on that but it was good to be suggested one thanks flipboard i will have the links to that as many of those stories as i can down below Okay, back to school time. That can be a, both a refreshing and like, I have to study situation. As a student myself, I did write down a few tips that have helped me. When you're studying for tests, play heads up with your flashcards. I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with that heads up game that Ellen is known for making and playing on her show. If you do that with your key terms, it really helps you and you're, you'll need a buddy to study with, but it'll help them too. Basically, what you'll do is put the key term on your forehead. You won't know what it is, and then they have to describe it to you. So this tests if you know the key term through what they're describing, and it tests them too because they have to describe this term. Like they don't know what's on the back of the card. And normally what you put on the back of flashcards is the definition, right? So it tests to see if they know what they're defining. Killing two birds with one stone. My note taking routine is quite strenuous compared to everybody else's. What I'll do is I'll take notes during class and then that weekend, I will write them down again um, along with um, important figures in presentations and then the week after that I'll take what I wrote the weekend before and I'll make a script out of it and then the weekend after that I will record that script into my phone with me talking obviously and play that back to me whenever I feel sort of, sort of like studying like walking in between classes which like never happens 
whenever I feel motivated to study, I will listen to what I learned. It takes about like four weeks. So I'm reminded of the material week of after week. I don't know, we'll see how it turns out this time. If you have labs as part of your classes, do the lab work, the post lab work, as soon as you can within the lab finishing. I know it can be exhausting and you probably don't even want to do the post lab the day of the lab after it finishes, but just like try to look at it the day after because you want to get your ideas down when your memories are still fresh. What will happen is that I'll be writing a discussion for a lab and I will suddenly remember something random that I didn't think I would put in my discussion before, but I should. And that normally happens when I write the discussion closer to when the lab ended. High school or college students, even middle school students, you have a choice of classes. You know you're elective, take what you want to take. I mean, school only lasts so long. You could take those classes that land you a good job, but like, if it's not what you're into, then you have to ask yourself if it's really worth it. All the advice I have for you for this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe, please, if you liked it. And let me know what you think in the comments down below. I'll see you guys later. Bye.